So, the last update added a weird looking IFV for China. And that's all I know about it. Because seriously, this is as much as I've played of the Chinese tech tree. Which means I only have this one vehicle to play with. So I'm gonna be one of those people. But you know, when I first saw this, it looked a lot like a BMP. Like I thought maybe, okay, this is some sort of licensed copy of a BMP because that's what quite a lot of the Chinese vehicles are. And in fact, the first ZBD, it literally is a BMP-1. But this isn't. In fact, it, it's supposedly completely Chinese made. Let's see if it's any good. All right, first things first, this from the back anyway is not pretty. <laughs> it's quite chunky and it looks bigger on the camera than it actually is. Also, it's got two guns. It's got like a 100 mil and then like an auto cannon on the side and they're kind of reversed. And what I mean by that is if I left click, it fires the auto cannon. But if I use alternate fire, it'll fire the main gun, which in this case is loaded with a missile of which I only have eight of them. And that's a really, really fast missile. You gotta remember like this isn't a tank. It's still an IFV or infantry fighting vehicle. So we're not exactly gonna have the armor we need to really be able to take on anything big. So let's just hope we don't get seen first. But I don't really know exactly how strong the frontal armor is on this. And I'm not really keen to test it. There's a 2S38. That's pretty close to the sort of equivalent of this. The only difference is this actually has a crew in the turret, whereas the 2S38 doesn't. Oh, I see something. I see something. Hello there. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I probably didn't need to use a missile at close range for that. I, I don't know if the arming distance would actually activate for something like that, but I, I'm glad it did. That being said, there's a T-72, like, right behind this wall here. <laughs> there's a smoke screen up there. I don't know what for. Oh. Get into cover! Okay, I'm loving this missile already. Like, that's fantastically fast. It's It doesn't feel like a missile. It feels like a shell. Oh. There was a leopard right there. I didn't even see it. Well, if anything was going to kill me, it would end up being a leopard anyway. So according to this, we have high explosive rounds as well. And they've got three and a half kilograms of explosive. Now that doesn't sound like a lot. So I don't know if this is any good, but we're about to find out. Also, this toolbar at the bottom is massive. Like I'm glad that we have the ability to hide it, but still <laughs> it's huge. So let's have a look here. Oh, hang on. Hello. There's one and let's go tag him. I like that the buildings all look good and then you go in closer and they're all destroyed. Okay, so we got two sort of near the middle and one getting onto the B point. Is this object 292 gonna take him out? Yes, he is. Honestly, I feel like one of those um, like squad esports commentators. Like overall, this is not feeling too bad. Like gun depression is typically Soviet. I mean, you got a small turret with a low roof and a really long front of the hull here. So I think even when you like look over the edge here, your gun really doesn't depress particularly far. It's feeling very BMP2, BMP3-esque. It's a little taller than the BMPs though, just a little, but yeah, it's... I was gonna say fairly mobile, but it does feel a little slower than the BMPs. But it also has decent reverse speed, which a lot of the Soviet vehicles don't have. So, I mean, overall, I like it, even if it does sort of look like a target. All right, I know somebody was around like that away. I just don't know if they're gone. Or have they been taken out? Or is this bush in my face? Yeah, trees sometimes, they just don't know how to get out of the way. Oh, it's a target. Oh, it's a T-72. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, supposedly we can track aircraft in this thing too. I'm wondering if we can use the missile for that. Can we actually hit something with the missile? I mean, it looks like it goes fast enough, right? What you doing? You backing up? Ooh, missile launcher got taken out. Revenge, oh. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to play this properly. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the missile there. All right, so we got one tank on the left here, and then one more. Never mind. Why is our team shooting at our own helicopter? Why did they do that? Helicopter. <laughs> is he dead? Yay. Ooh, artillery shells. That smoke shell landed right on my hull. Let's just go back over this way and pretend we were never here. There's a tank right there. You didn't see it. Don't! 
Okay, you saw it. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I need to play this light tank like a light tank. Yes, I know it's not actually a light tank, but, you know, War Thunder classifies it as one, so let's see if it can work as one. So I think I'm gonna go, like, around this way and try to do some scouting. Let me just duck back in here. I don't think I'm too visible from that side, and we'll launch that drone. Here we go. You know what? For the first time ever, I don't think anyone's coming down this way. Oh, hang on. I see him. I see him. They're over here. There's also a helicopter. Wait, can I go mess with that helicopter? Oh no, somebody shot him down. Let me crash into you. Nope. Ah, I missed. Okay, so we know people are coming down somewhere over there. Can I get over here or is this gonna... Yeah, okay, that's... Yeah, all the useful terrain, by the way, on every map, always outside of bounds. Always. You will sit in an open field and you will like it. Okay, let's see. Eh. Woo! Oh my god, that only hit my smoke launchers? I am okay with that. Oh no, I'm, I'm outside of the zone. Oh, I am so stuck here. I didn't actually mean to fire off that smoke, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I, I don't see the little guy I was shooting at just now. There he is. Oh. Yay! Oh, you know, in a lot of ways, this thing does play quite a lot like that. The Bagel Panzer, or the Big Lighter Panzer. Although I don't think this has necessarily the, the same sort of anti-armor ability. Uh, oh, maybe it does, actually. I'm being lazed. Woo, that was very close. See, the only downside is... Bullets move faster than missiles. I know a lot of people don't realize that, but they really do. And I know I said a lot about how fast the missiles, like how fast they move, but they genuinely do not go fast enough. I may mean, have to give away my position just to machine gun some of these props out of the way because War Thunder and all their wisdom decided it'd be a great idea if um, heat and HE projectiles work the same way they did last year, which is they'll detonate if a leaf so much as gets near it. Why they reverted that change, I have no idea. So I don't dare to fire a missile down that way if it means I can't actually hit the target, you know, just because a little bit of a fence got in the way. Then again, if you've seen the videos and pictures of Russian tanks being covered with all sorts of random debris as a form of protection against missiles. I, I think maybe they don't just do it for the game. I think they genuinely think that's how missiles work. Come on! Yes! Get wrecked, 2S38. I've never known anything to stand up to a 2S38 like in a head-on fight. Not even an MBT, genuinely. <laughs> because, you know, they're not, they're totally not broken and unbalanced at all, right? They're, they're the most balanced vehicle in the world, but this this survived that i think because he was shooting at the bottom of the turret here which is actually just where the engine is not where the crew is so we have a look at that yeah he was hitting the engine and not the crew that's a massive engine by the way like proportionately to the vehicle that's a huge engine it saved me now how long more i expect to be alive that's a whole different story we're down to two crew members and there may be an enemy right here somewhere there you are can i hit that from here Yay! <laughs> I'm having the weirdest luck with hits in this thing. I don't know if it's um, if it's the vehicle or I'm just getting lucky. Oh, there's something. I see it. I see it. I see it. There we go. <laughs> like, it feels so sneaky, but it's massive. Oh, I mean, I say massive. It's like massive compared to something like the Fox, which I played recently. Can you not? Oh, now I can't move. I literally can't do anything about that. Ah, I can't see anything now. Well, there we go. I did it, but I might die to artillery here. I mean, honestly, the fact that I'm still alive with two crew members is amazing. Which, incidentally, is exactly why the engine is in the position that it is. Is it over? Okay, we're good. Okay, we're not good. But that's genuinely why many vehicles have the engine at the front. In the case of IFVs... Uh, and, um, APCs. Yeah, the obvious answer is because you want the armor in front of the crew and the trooper compartment, which is at the back. So, uh, again, it's why they unload from the rear and not the front. But also, even if something does penetrate the armor, having a big lump of steel, like an engine, just behind it, just adds that extra layer of protection. 
All right, I'm gonna help this time over here. You know, I honestly thought we were winning this game and it just seems like we're not anymore. Something's shooting down this way. You can hear that whistling noise? Oh, I see him. Dang. I couldn't even kill a BMP. Although I probably should have taken out the tank first. Target prioritization. But that said, I don't think the missile on the ZBD-4 could take out that T-18. At least not from the front, considering a part of its hull was hidden. I don't know. What would you guys do in that situation? Did you still go for the BMP because it might be an easier kill, or would you go for the T-80? So that's the ZBD-04A. Why they named it after a photocopier, I have no idea. Although I know that it actually stands for something, and even though I can speak Mandarin, I have no idea how to pronounce any of those words. So, yeah, the Chinese armored line, or Chinese ground forces line, I should say, is kind of odd, definitely very odd, and it has a very interesting history. This vehicle, on the other hand, is very fun to play, and it has the unique ability to fire ATGMs on the move, which I don't think a lot of uh, vehicles can, because you can kind of think of it less of an actual, like, missile and more like just a shell with no drop-off. Like, seriously, look at this thing. It's like a guided shell. Maybe it is a guided shell. I don't know. I don't know anything about this vehicle, like, in real life. So that's something I'm going to have to research on my own. And if I'm going to do it anyway, I'm just curious, since we've just started the tank lore and history videos, which if you've not checked it out, the first episode of That's Already Up, I might consider doing one on the Chinese sort of armored forces and how that came to be because that's a really interesting story from what little I've seen of it. So if you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. And of course, what vehicle should I cover next? And of course, don't forget to leave a like while you're down there if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.